Hello, Assalamu alaikum friends. Welcome back to my new tutorial of our WinCC Runtime SCADA, which is called WinCC SCADA. So in this video, I am just going to show you how we play with symbols in our uh, WinCC Runtime SCADA. So you will see that I have created some graphics by using some pipes. So you will see here are the pipes and valves. We are going to connect with the our tank for showing that tank is filling or not so it is created on uh, uh, I created that on uh, paint windows paint and now I'm going to use it in my TA WinCC runtime so you will see here is my tank and now you will see in graphics folder and graphics because if I am saving it my paints pictures so that why is showing in my graphics so i am just creating a graphics for our tank so first of all i am going to select my graphics lists and i am going to select the pipe which is called our simple pipe and i am saying just drag and drop there see that one that one that one also the full one I am going to select that uh, from 0 to 1 and that one to 2 to I think 5 and that one to I think 6 to I think 8 6 to 7 and the last one we are going to select from 7 to 10 so you will see that we have just selected sorry it went to 8 to so that's it that's our pipe created now I am going to select the wall graphics for wall like that and now I am copy pasting that one we using as same as so I am just changing it to 8 dash 10 that one to 6 dash 5 and 6 and 2 and 4 like that now I am selecting a band and I am going to name it below band and now I am selecting it I think I select I don't need to select a below I need to select a upper band now copy pasting and drag and drop that one like that just changing it to 8 dash 10 6 dash sorry 5 dash 7 2 and 4 and like that i think that is now created now just I think that's done now I'm going to my main screen and just dragging that one to there and make it small and just pasting it there like that and I move it to back like that that is done now I am going to select the wall like that there I am going to make it something like larger like that I 
I think I need to move it down by my arrows. I think I need to rotate that one. Where I will going to rotate? So here rotate. Why it is not rotating? Just I think I put that one later, but I use an upper one from there. Pipe like that and move it to backward and use that wall there. Like that, I'm mm. just selecting a pipe. It is small like that, moving that pipe to there. Like that, I think I need to rotate that one, but it is rotate or not. Let's check. That's it. I just I am just using it there and make a copy of it. Paste it there. Like that. Using another pipe and dragging him there like that. Also move it to backward. Now I am just tagging it so you will see that how we are going to tag and just delete that one I need a full pipe like that there like that now I think we need to backward like that so I think we need to tagging so we'll see graphics now we are going to tag and the plc tag we are going to select a fill wall so that is our fill wall we also tagging that one to our fill wall down tagging that one to discharge wall and that one also discharge wall I think that's it these are done now I am just going to compile that and starting my factory I need to connect
that one driver is all good everything is good now i'm going to connect configuration is good plc sim is now running is now connected now i am going to start my screen to check that it is working or not so you will see that now i am just changing that kptint values now i am entering set point so you will see that then when it is going to reach the value so you will see that our tank change it to 3.0 directly Changing to 2.0, so you will see that it will now showing us the training. So that's it. That's how our symbols we are designing a symbols in our DIA portal. So thank you very much in our Win CC Run Time Scada. Sorry. So thank you very much for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel, like my video, and click the bell icons. And don't forget. to read the description there is my contact number and another tutorials playlist and and comments if you don't understand anything and thank you very much